from the Coin Center in downtown Portland. This is Coin 6 News. Watching out for you. A group of concerned parents say their children could be subject to dangerous radiation that could cause cancer. Now they're fighting a proposed cell phone tower in the heart of a historic Portland neighborhood. Thanks for being with us, everybody, in Queen 6 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Dan Tilkin. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. T-Mobile wants to add wireless antennas to an existing power pole off Southeast 71st and Yamhill in the Mount Tabor neighborhood. Our Chris Holmstrom is live in Southeast Portland, and he's getting answers about this whole process. Chris? Yeah, Dan, Jennifer, this is the power pole we're talking about, and if all goes as planned, it'll be turned into a cell tower by the end of this summer, and it's something parents here are trying to put a stop to. This is a livability issue. It's a health issue. Shelly Lufkin is fighting back against a proposed cell phone tower in her Mount Tabor neighborhood. We really feel like our rights are being trounced upon and that we just don't have a say. And She's one of several parents against T-Mobile's plan. The way they went around it, about it, it was very deceptive. They sent a, an indescript letter in the mail to all the neighbors. Most of them threw it away. I found out the company sent out notifications to all property owners within 400 feet and just last week submitted a right-of-way application for the city to review. But I learned it's the federal government, not the city, that regulates the placement of towers. If any member Either way, it's a fight Mount Tabor neighbors took to city council, hoping the city makes recommendations to put it somewhere else. Their argument is that there's not a health link, a health problem, and there's just no guarantee there isn't. We don't want to put our kids at risk, our, our neighbors at risk. I reached out to OHSU to get answers about the effects of cell phone towers. Dr. Fred Berman, who's done cell tower studies, sent me this statement saying, historically, there has been debate that electromagnetic radiation from cell phone towers may contribute to various forms of cancer or impact human necessities such as sleep or memory. Overall, there is no scientific evidence that conclusively proves that cell phones and other wireless equipment are responsible for these health problems. Opponents still say there are no long-term studies to prove there aren't serious health effects. You know, we don't want to just push this into someone else's backyard. We've all, as neighbors, gotten together and said, this needs to be in an industrial area, away from apartments, away from residential homes. And back out here live, I'm told the mayor's office will meet with the neighbors here in Mount Tabor about this cell phone tower. We'll let you know what comes from that meeting and what the next steps may be. Reporting live from Southeast Portland, I'm Chris Holmstrom. For Coin Six News. Okay, sir, keep us updated. Thank you. Also